Well, switching gears now, get ready to start your engines. More than 100 classic cars are rolling onto Navy Pier this weekend for a new retro rides experience. Organizers tell us their goal, though, goes beyond just offering up something cool to look at. And those classic cars are pretty cool to look at. So joining us now is Robert Olson, president of Claremont Collections, which is organizing the show. So Robert, good morning to you. Thanks so much for joining us. And tell us all about this retro rides event. What can people expect? Good morning. So we are hosting an event at Navy Pier, and our organization is Claremont Collections Automotive Museum in Chicago. And it's a an unturned stone. It's a hidden gem in the Chicago area. So our history as a uh, as a museum is that we have 300 cars on display in the city of Chicago, and now we are sharing that with Navy Pier. Navy Pier has partnered up with us to create this retro rides experience. Uh, sponsors like Mecham Auctions have jumped on board to promote the education and automotive history of vehicles. And uh, it's open to the public Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, July 28th, 29th, and 30th at Navy Pier and Festival Hall. Pretty awesome. Okay, so we know this is more than just a car show. You touched on this a bit. This is part of your efforts to educate students as well. So there's a focus on science and engineering that can be found under the hood of the car. So tell us about how you're promoting education through these classic cars. Sure, uh, aside from the classic cars, antique cars being cool to look at, they are actually uh, representations of all of the science, technology, engineering, art, mathematics, of that precise moment in time in which they were created. And today, concept cars still exist. Uh, the, the expression of uh, art exists in all of the automobiles themselves. And we are sharing our, our vehicles to demonstrate all of the eras. Yeah, that's so interesting. It's not just the cars themselves, but it's obviously the evolution of the technology too. And is it also about, I guess, just the history of Chicago? Like what can people learn about the history of cars too in Chicago? Yeah, so, so we've strived to uh, celebrate the history of Chicago through some of the vehicles that we have actually acquired and display. Anything from a 1909 Sears Roebuck uh, runabout to uh, a 1970 Cougar that was presented to uh, Whitney Young by the Ford Motor Company in 1970 celebrating his work on civil rights. So through the decades, through the eras, each of these vehicles expresses, tells a story, tells a story of ownership, tells a story of engineering, and tells a story of its relationship to modern history. That is so cool. And I'm just looking at these cars and I, I just want to sit in them. All right, can you like out at this retro rides experience, can you sit in the cars? Can you like, you know, open the doors and everything? Yeah, so so we, we have a few cars that uh, we're going to allow people to sit in and take some photo ops. Uh, some of them are micro cars, so you can't help but uh, want to touch it and see it. Most of the cars themselves are behind stanchions, but you're up close and you're going to see a, a whole variety of vehicles. Anything from uh, early, early uh, 1900 cars to something like the modern day muscle era. Pretty cool. I imagine somebody has to go around with like a spray bottle of Windex and like a wipe to get all the fingerprints off of the car. You know, you got to make it look as shiny and great as it does in, in that video. Um, let's talk a little bit about the educational programs, the outreach programs that you're doing as well, because I know it's not just the retro rides experience happening at Navy Pier this weekend. So what's next for the museum? True. So we actually started off as a private collection of Larry uh, Claremont, Larry M. Claremont. Larry passed away two years ago, World War II veteran, beautiful private collection. Larry's plan was that we would transition to a nonprofit, which we are today. One of the most organic things that we can do is get young minds in the museum and plant the seeds of interest. And we have been doing that all summer long, getting field trips. Uh, I won't even call it marketing. I'll just call it awareness and getting the children involved in the museum and translating that into something that's hands-on, model building, uh, expressing themselves through uh, engineering. And uh, it has been a challenge and both rewarding at the museum. Last week we had 400 uh, children from the Boys Club in Chicago come through the museum. So that's, that's our goal is awareness, field trips, and then translating that into something more vocational. 
clearly this is a passion for you. How amazing is it to see kids' faces light up when not only do they see these cars, but they learn something, you know, they have that light bulb moment. It, it, this is so true. You know, you find something that you love doing, and if you have the privilege of calling it work, uh, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> that's where I'm at right now, too. I, lo I love that we <laughs> have that in common. Do you have a favorite car? That'll be my last question. You know what? On a daily basis, I have a favorite car, okay. but there is a really, really cool car. Uh, it's a 1959 black Chrysler Imperial. Ooh. It was one of the last vehicles that Mr. Claremont selected himself. I'm totally in love with the car. Slick. I bet that looks just amazing. Uh, good for a photo opportunity, too. All right, Robert Olson, president of Claremont Collections, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it.